Hi, Cambridge Springs. Tonight I've decided to read one of my favorite stories to you. It's called Nuffle Bunny, a cautionary tale by Mo Willems. Nuffle Bunny, a cautionary tale by Mo Willems. Not so long ago, before she could even speak words, Trixie went on an errand with her daddy. You can see them going somewhere special, getting some jobs done. Trixie and her daddy went down the block, through the park, past the school, and into the laundromat. See, it says laundromat. Trixie helped her daddy put the laundry into the machine. Oh, readers, I see something in the basket that Trixie might be kind of upset with later. <gasps> she even got to put the money into the machine. Then they left. Readers, Look, there's something that might become really important later in the story. I wonder what it is. <gasps> but a block or so later, Trixie realized something. I bet you readers that you already know what Trixie realized. Uh-oh. Trixie turned to her daddy and said, Aggle, flaggle, clabble. That's right, replied her daddy. We're going home. Trixie's face doesn't look like she's ready to go home, though. Aggle, flaggle, clabble, said Trixie again. Flaggle, plabble, wumby, flappy, snarp. Whew. All that, all that talking. Now, please don't get fussy, said her daddy. Sounds like daddy doesn't have a clue what Trixie's trying to say. Well, she had no choice. Trixie bawled. Wah! She went boneless. <laughs> she did everything she could to show how unhappy she was. And by the time they got home, her daddy was unhappy too. As soon as Trixie's mommy opened the door, she asked, where's Nuffle Bunny? Trixie's face. It's kind of like, I told you. Told you that whole time, daddy. <laughs> the whole family ran down the block and they ran through the park. They zoomed past the school and into the laundromat. <laughs> Trixie's daddy looked for Nuffle Bunny and looked and looked, but Nuffle Bunny was nowhere to be found. So Trixie's daddy decided to look harder. <gasps> Nuffle Bunny! And those were the first words Trixie ever said. What a wonderful story. Thank you, Mr. Wellums, for sharing that great story with us in Cambridge. I hope that you enjoyed me sharing it with you, and hopefully that you all have a great night, and I look forward to hopefully seeing you all soon. Thank you very much.